Okay. And there's a question. If you want to answer the question, you're welcome to hit. Here it is. Ready? Right. What would the world be like if 90% of our thoughts were loving? Ooh. I'm here in Loveland for a really simple reason. A voice asked me to come to Loveland and see what I needed to learn about love. Imagine a voice telling you to love everyone. Imagine praying for miracles and the next day being offered a course in miracles. Imagine waking up every day knowing love always leads the way. Imagine the world you see is illusion if it's not love. It would be exciting and every day would be full of joy. Every day, for real. I mean, just joy all the time. Most of you don't know me. And for the I in this case doesn't matter. What does matter is the idea of love, of what love is, how it develops the truth in our hearts, and how that love creates connection. An original docu-series, what if all of our thoughts were loving? I'm looking to change the conversation that when I say it would be possible to have a love land within um, our daily lives, that people considered the possibility that there's a way to do that in their life. At least 500 women who took over the center of the Hart Senate building protesting. Small towns are places where we believe in each other or we don't survive. Shift your consciousness. Shift your awareness. Shift your point of view. Wake up to love. 13 episodes revealing one message. Let love lead the way. We and we the people must raise justice up and must bring peace to our nation and must come together in concord. And we have a choice. Could I be in a space where it was like, love always remained the answer, or whatever jackass thing someone was doing, if I could be loving in their, in their own assholery.